Oh, this is not good. When did this all happen? All I had to do was get across the map. <coughs> What's going on? Oh my god, oh my god. I was literally just... Oh, this is insane. This is insane. There's so many compies. There's like, what, ten of them? I've never seen this many in a pack at once. This is insane. They're actually doing quite a number on me. Whoa, no, die. There we go, they're all getting wrecked. Yeah, get wrecked. Stay back. One left to go. There. What is going on guys, it's CG here. So in today's video I have some good news. I was recently browsing YouTube for ARC videos and I happened to come across a small community of YouTubers. Luckily they were taking on other YouTubers to join them on their ARC adventures. They own a server called Pooptopia and from what I've heard it is going to be an amazing place with such a friendly and welcoming atmosphere. So I requested to join them on their adventures and they accepted me in which I am really really thankful for. The server is very friendly and I already have a good feeling about joining up with this community. We are all inspired by the YouTubers Zoldan Gaming and Slipgator. I can already see that this is going to be an amazing opportunity to meet new people and have fun whilst doing it. So I'm on the server now and I really don't have much. I've played it for about 6 hours and I've got quite a lot of the basic stuff. Just recently tamed a pterodon and I'm looking for a forever home base location. So I have one base location in mind at the moment. I'm just living in this little shack on the beach. But there's just one base location I found. Um, I can't really pin it on the map. But I'm going to fly there in a second anyway to show you. Uh, I want to live there but I need to get in touch with the admin first. The owner of the server or Courtney Chan if you prefer. I'll talk to you a lot more about the other survivors on the server probably in the next episode but I need to talk to him first to see if I can live there because obviously we all need our separate building spaces and everything make sure certain areas aren't scheduled to be built on in the future like Herbivore Island for example I was going to build there before I even like you know got in touch with them about joining the server but that's going to be a future pvp arena which is really cool actually considering this isn't a pvp server and it's going to be Pretty similar to Slipgator and Jolgen's server, well, uh, what do they call it, Arc Pooping Evolved I think it is their server. This video isn't going to contain as much gameplay as you'd normally expect, but I'll definitely be recording a lot more episodes on here and hopefully have a few collaborations every now and again. Uh, Pooptopia is going to be a very good on my channel as I have finally found a server where I can stick to a series because we all know how chaotic official servers can be. We've all been there. You know, you can, if you especially for PvP or PV PVE, you don't know who you can trust. PV, PvP servers on official servers are my favourite. Out of the official PVE, I find too boring as everybody dominates the map. But when it comes to PvP, you can't even, you know, stay on there for a day without getting destroyed. So I've got a lot of. Well, I actually, well, I did say I had a lot of basic stuff, but looking at me now, I've got some metal armor. I've just got a really crappy base. I got that raft there that I spent quite a lot of time building. Uh, for all my dinos. I had a pterodon and an itchy as well. I have no idea where they went. Not a pterodon, sorry, a parasaur. I had a parasaur here. I was running back from base and it got killed by a Kano. And my itchy went full, like, <laughs> crazy mode. Uh, yesterday he was attacked by a megalodon and I left him on aggressive or neutral, I'm not too sure. And he, like, swam around in the ocean at 100 mile per hour, disappeared forever. I don't know where he is, but my tribe log still says he's alive. Yeah, he's still alive. He hasn't died. Look, see? Tamed uh, Itchy, level 17, and he hasn't died. So I don't know where he is. He's in the bottom of the ocean somewhere. Right, so I got a lot of this stuff, a lot of rotten meat. I got one egg, some of this basic gear. A lot of the metal stuff I have researched quite a lot because the server has a few buffs. I think it's times 4 on the XP and resource collection, which is very, very good. Because I don't want to, you know, spend a whole week just leveling up, like on the official servers. And get some water and fly to my new base location, which I'm hoping I can build on if it's not already taken. Oh, where are you? Arrow. Arrow is the name of my pterodon. It's my first pterodon on the server. 
So I decided to call it Arrow because it looks like an arrow. It's got a pointy face. But I need to think of some more names. My two dodos, and I've got Pooper Trooper there, my pig, which I'm going to be using to get compost. Uh, fertilizer, sorry. Because I haven't got any dung beetles yet. And my goal is to get a dung beetle, because I love dung beetles. Not because it's just the creature, but because of what bonuses they have in terms of fertilizer. Right, I'm kind of lost. Where am I going? Where's my map? Let's get that out. Alright, so I need to go more... Which way? Oh, I'm going back that way. Okay. <coughs> oh, I got attacked by bugs! Oh no! Um, let's do my special spinny maneuver to get out of here. I'll land here quickly so I can get some more stamina. Um, I've got a lot of meat. I do not need any more meat. What do I need? I do not know. Okay, I'm about halfway there. Well, kind of. Anyway, guys, I'll be right back once I get to my new base location. Okay, guys, I've reached my destination, and this is where I plan on living. As you can see, it's this, like, massive platform here, and if I got rid of all these rocks, trees, and bushes and stuff, it's going to be all completely flat. It's going to be a really good place to build. I can wall off some of the exits and stuff. Although, I don't really need to do that. There's no threat on this server, apart from dinos. But it would look cool anyway. So, if I am allowed to build here, um, which I should find out by at least the second episode, it's going to be really, really good. I have a lot of plans for my building. I'm going to build like some sort of house. Like some warehouse type thing. And then I want some, like... On every single official server I go on, I've always wanted to make uh, an egg farm. Not really an egg farm, I can't really... I don't even know the correct wording for it, but I'm just going to call it an egg farm. It's basically where all the dinos are on ramps and you get loads of eggs and stuff. And I actually want to hatch dinos for once in my life. I've hatched dinos in the past and it really hasn't gone too well. A lot of them have died. I didn't really know the correct technique. I'd normally stick them on campfires, which wouldn't really work. But this is going to be a really, really good place for me to build, especially if I can have this place. It's like so big and open. I never really knew this was part of the game until recently. I never really built here before because the most popular places on the island are taken which doesn't surprise me as I wasn't exactly the first person to get here. So you know fair enough to them if they've already got it but this is a really good place. I really do like it. I'm hoping I can build here. I've already got some foundations down here to mark the center of where my base is going to be. And it's going to be absolutely great. I just can't wait for the future of this server and everything, the future series I'm going to be doing. About a month's time, this should all be up and running and look absolutely amazing. I just can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Can't wait to meet everybody else on the server as well. I'm speaking to someone today. Uh, what's his name? There he is. Dilladoof. He's new, well, briefly new on the server, which is good. So that's one person I've talked to. And there's a lot more. There's about, I think there's about 10 in total. I think that's what Courtney Chan said there was 10. I'm not too sure, but it's going to be great. I can't wait to meet everyone. We're going to have a lot of fun on here. I can already see it now. Probably for the next few hours now, I'm going to have to do a lot of taming, get my stuff together. I can probably get my raft over here somehow. There's a little water opening down here. Yep, that's lovely. I can get my dinos up across the beach and up onto this cliff, which will be really good. But this is going to take a very long time to clear. I've got all these trees, plants, rocks, everything. And I've got to somehow border it all off. I don't well, it's possible, but it's going to take me a very long time. So a lot of that stuff I'm going to do off camera. And then I'm going to do a lot of videos on the actual base building. A lot of the good tames because I need to tame up some crappy dinos first to actually get to where I, a state where I can build. And then there's going to be so much good stuff, so much good content to come out in the future. I just can't wait. This is such a good... This is such an amazing opportunity for me. I'm actually... I can't thank the, the YouTubers on the server enough for actually letting me join their community. It's just, it's just so good to actually, you know, have a place where... I can build freely without having the stress of 
potentially being raided and there's some guy's base down here. Wait, is he online? No, that's a pipe. Oh, I thought you st the photos of a guy stand up there. I, I want to know who this guy is. I think this is... who is it? Tribe of NSK. So this is NSK videos. That's one guy who's on the server. He does a, a lot of content on this. I'll probably link all the channels in my next episode when I found out everyone's name. Uh, this is NSK's little towery base. I did watch one of his videos on this. It's going to be pretty cool. Oh, I can't wait. There's so many more bases I've got to explore. So many more people I've got to meet. But that's obviously going to come in time. I can't exactly go rushing around meeting everyone now. Not many people are online. I think there's only me and... What's his name again? There he is. Dilla Doof. <laughs> Such an amazing name. Dilla Doof. So I think it's just us two online, which is unfortunate. As I can't really go around meeting everybody else. But, you know, the future of this server has a lot of stuff coming. I can't wait. Some mantas attacking this turtle here. Wonder who's gonna win. Normally the turtle is very brutal. Oh, no rush gaming has just joined. There's another guy who's part of the community. He's part. He's one of the YouTubers who actually records on this and does things, which is really good. All right, my first encounter with beavers, and there's three beaver dams. Um, I know what happens if you open them, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh, there's actually four. Oh, cool. So for those of you who need wood, cement and paste, whatever else comes in them, I'm not too sure, I know those two are for certain, then come to this location, there's quite a few beaver dams here, that's if nobody's built here already, but yes, if you need any beaver dams or taming a beaver, wood or anything, come here, some good stuff, I'll probably pick some of this up later, if I am feeling confident enough that I won't die, get my pterodon killed, because I know they do all rush you. The second you open one of their things, they will charge you out of the water and bang, you're gone in seconds. So I can't really afford for that to happen. Right, I am back at home at last. That took a little bit of time to get across the map. And if you saw the part of the start of the video, you would have known what happened as I was traveling halfway through. I got attacked by like a swarm of 10 compies and a whole lot of bugs, which was very uncalled for. I'd never seen that many compies in one pack before. There were so many of them. But I'm finally back home. My two rafts, HMS floaty cardboard, and I want to see if these are up finally. There we go. Fertilizer. This is my one pet hate to do with Ark. Managing fertilizer. This is why I'm desperate to get a dung beetle. But I can finally set up these narco berry farms because I need a lot of narcotics if I am to tame a lot of things. A lot of things indeed. Anyway guys, I just want to thank you all for watching. This hasn't really been much this episode, but you know, this is my introduction to my new series. This is the Pooptopia Ark Survival Evolved server. I'm so thankful yet again to be here. I'm, oh, it's just going to be so good. Can't wait to meet everyone. Can't wait to do future videos of everyone. And yeah, guys, that's going to be pretty much it. I just want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and are excited to see the future series of Pooptopia, then don't hesitate to leave a like. I'll probably be uploading over the next few days. i got to get a confirmation of Courtney Chan first if I can build there. And if I can, I'll finally start building and doing some more videos. But anyway, guys, like I said, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode.